I'm Dr. Joe and I am to lovethatface.com. Thank you for watching our channel. One of the most frequent things we do in our practice, uh, and it's funny because I do, I've done well over a thousand facelifts. We do brow lifts, eyelid surgery, we do a lot of big surgery, but one of the most common things we do is scarless mole removal. And we do this with the uh, Elman Radio Wave 4.0 uh, megahertz system. And it's very effective and we treat people from all over the world. Now there's a couple things I want to uh, mention here that are important. Number one, uh, if you have a mole, uh, you should make sure that it is not a uh, pre-malignant or malignant situation. And anybody that removes moles has to know uh, when to biopsy. And technically we should biopsy everything. I think it's really important for every person to see their dermatologist at least once a year for a full mole body scan. And I do that. Um, so that's what's really important. Most of the lesions that people present with are benign lesions and, and uh, we encourage biopsy, but we will melt these down with the uh, 4.0 megahertz radio wave system. Now, when you say scarless mole removal, can you guarantee somebody that there'll never be a scar? You really can't do that, but I can tell you this, I've taken I've probably taken 10,000 of these off over the years, and I've never had a patient that said they wish they had their mole back. So the system in the physics of radio wave surgery is important, but really what's also important is the person that's doing it. You just have to know uh, when to stop and how to treat it and, and what settings to use. So uh, what we're going to do here is... Uh, uh, most of my mole removal videos on YouTube are old, and we've certainly upped our game here with the, uh, our audio visual. And so we're going to show you uh, a mole removal procedure and then some before and after pictures. And uh, I personally only do moles on the head and neck. If you want to have more information about uh, scarless mole removal, visit my website, lovethatface.com. I'm Dr. Joe Niamtu, and thanks for watching our channel. So this patient has a large nevus here that's been here <clears throat> most of her life and we have numbed it with local anesthesia and we're going to biopsy this and debulk it so the first thing we're going to do is just remove that and we'll biopsy it. Now we're going to come back and reduce it with radio wave surgery. So now we're going to use a 133 tip and we're going to begin reducing this. And we don't want to have too much heat. Wipe it hard. Mm -hmm. So we want to take little short strokes and we don't really want to apply heat here longer than about five seconds. So now we're at the base of the lesion and we just want to be able to take this right down to the base. And then we want to just bevel the skin edges lightly so that we don't have a precipitous drop off like a pothole. Like. And that's about as deep as we'll go today. Wipe it off again. And you can see that there's still a little bit of lesion present here. But you have to remember that the heat's going to penetrate deeper than what you can visualize. So what we've done is beveled these edges and reduced this to the base of the lesion. And we'll come back and look at it in eight weeks.
Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Niamtu, CosmeticSurgeryEducation.com, and I hope you enjoy our free YouTube videos. I want to talk to you a little bit about our four purchase video series, and if you follow our education platform, you know that in the past I had a very successful DVD uh, cosmetic surgery video series that you would order on DVD. To become more contemporary, we've done it all over, and now it is all online. I spent two years and recorded over 300 hours of 1080p high definition video and it's fully narrated in a step-by-step -step teaching manner. This includes but not limited to topics such as blepharoplasty, brow lift, minimally invasive facelift, traditional facelift, facial implants, otoplasty, uh, laser resurfacing, chemical peel, injectable fillers, uh, neurotoxins, mole removal, the management of fat in the head and neck, and other topics. I think this is a great review for um, experienced surgeons and a great teaching tool for students, interns, residents, or anybody that wants to learn about cosmetic surgery. If you go to CosmeticSurgeryEducation.com, you can preview any video, and they're very reasonably priced. Uh, when you order a video, you can stream it 24-7, as well as download it so you own the video. I'm really excited and I think I put together a really awesome teaching series. Check it out, CosmeticSurgeryEducation.com. I'm Dr. Joe Niamh.